As far as my father's influences in the astronomical world and how he dealt with putting that into paintings I th and his drawings, the drawings in particular are very what I would sort of call more photoreal. They look more like particles of cosmos space, extremely detailed, uh, quite wonderful. And he, he did look at a lot of Hubble telescope photographs in the magazines that he would get and so on. My parents never had the computer world uh, to bring a lot of those images to them. Uh, so they relied more on just printed out photography. But some of what happens in astronomy can only be described verbally because we as human beings don't have instruments that'll go far enough out there into outer space to see it. And yet we have fantastic photographs of not only our galaxy but galaxies beyond that. They can see what the particle sort of distribution is like and how the gases form. There's been really good descriptions of, say, how a star is formed from what we consider nothing out there in the universe. And my father studied those things, and a lot of his drawings have to do with the condensation of particles and how there's a field, and then there's sort of flows of gases, and then they, they conglomerate into true stars, I would say, or uh, entities of one form or another. And he wrote quite a, quite a bit about what black holes were and how they worked and um, other phenomenon like that. My father actually taught astronomy to some of the local people at our house for a short period of time. He showed quite a bit in Sonoma County and San Francisco and even beyond that. And I was the photographer for the openings of his shows quite a bit. He didn't usually give talks at those openings, but because I was around him and his artwork, I really picked up quite a bit about what he was studying, what he was trying to portray.